Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of January 24th, 2022. We've got four stories this week. The first one is a flying car that we talked about a couple weeks ago has been certified to fly. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, not so cool. We'll talk about Enstrom uh, helicopters that filed for bankruptcy. We'll also talk about a stowaway that was survived a 11-hour flight, and this is ooh, just incredible. And then lastly, we'll talk about something we've been uh, mentioning for a while now. Uh, Fly Zolo, the young lady that flew around the world, finished a, uh, her world tour, and so we'll give you more details on that. So let's get to it. All right, the first story this week, we're going to talk about air car. And this is something that we've talked about before. Uh, you can see the picture showing right here of this, uh, well, it's a flying car. There's really no other way to describe it. It can fly on the road and then it can, it can drive on the road and can fly in the air. Uh, it's been issued a certificate of airworthiness by the Slovak uh, Transport Authority. Now, this is not in the United States, but uh, the uh, certification included more than 70 hours of flight testing and in more than 200 takeoffs and landings. Um, this is cool. This is obviously all the, the super tech that we've been talking about uh, for the last, I don't know, two or three decades of having flying cars eventually, right? Um, the uh, newest model is expected to reach a speed of 185 miles per hour and also have a range of six 620 miles. So um, I hope they succeed. I hope we get to see more of this and, and see this actually going into production and happening for uh, for people that want to use this and, uh, and have a flying car. So that's pretty cool. All right. The next thing this week is not so good. This uh, Enstrom Helicopters is going bankrupt. They filed for Chapter 7 liquidation bankruptcy. They started back in the 50s with a mining engineer who started to build prototypes in his garage. And then a few years ago, they started to struggle uh, delivering aircraft in in uh, 2021, they only delivered two aircraft and then five in 2020. So it's kind of sad to see any companies going down and going into bankruptcy. So um, hopefully we hear more news about what's going to happen to the employees and everything. But uh, this is the latest. All right. Another thing that's pretty crazy is somebody was uh, found after an 11 hour flight uh, as, as a stowaway. That was a flight between Johannesburg and Amsterdam. And they were found inside the nose wheel section of the airplane. And then they said they were able to answer some basic questions once they were conscious. Uh, I can't imagine flying in these temperatures, uh, in this uh, kind of altitude, how they are even conscious, quite frankly, or even still alive. Um, there are a lot of people every year that, that die from doing these kind of things. Uh, they said they were transported to the hospital in stable condition. And uh, just every single time I hear one of these stories, it just kind of boggles my mind that uh, somebody is willing to put their life at risk for, for this to happen. The next thing and last thing this week is a final update on Fly Zolo. This is the uh, young 19-year-old um, Zara Rutherford. She became the youngest woman to circumnavigate the globe in an ultralight aircraft. Uh, this is actually kind of funny. It took her uh, 155 days. The reason I'm saying it's funny is because I just finished watching a TV show on TV, uh, 80 uh, Days Around the World. Around the World is in 80 Days, which is uh, based on a, on a novel, an old novel. Uh, but she took 155 days to do this VFR flying in a small airplane, all solo. solo. And uh, she is now going to go to college and said that she's going to work on her commercial pilot certificate uh, which is awesome because she's done 155 hours of uh, 250. I think it, it is still in Europe, 250. And then um, she's got another goal of becoming an astronaut eventually. So that was uh, that was really cool. Really cool story. Uh, exciting to kind of see her progress through the this uh, entire mission. And then I'm glad she got to experience all of this. All right. This is all we have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments, and then we'll see you guys next week.